Um, so let's make a floor in the stuffed floor generator. Um, this is a little web app and it allows you to quickly and easily make a floor that you can immediately put into the game and just use as it is. Um, so what do we need to do? First of all, you should probably give your name, uh, your mod a name. So let's call it my awesome mod. And give it a description. And I am the author. We don't need to give it a link, but you can if you want to. And then let's add some floors to it. I assume you always want at least one floor, so I've already added one floor to it for you. Um, let's start by getting a texture for this. You have two options. You can either upload an image from your computer, or you can fetch something from the internet. In my case, I have a couple of textures lying around already, so I'll show you that one first. Let's start with this one. This is a nice floral pattern, and I think this would make for some nice carpet. So uh, let's set the material to cloth, and I think this should be pretty... Maybe we can look at Royal, and what that does is it sets all of the statistics to be in line with in-game floors that are also from a, of a Royal quality. So they'll have the fine floor tag, um, Royal palms will consider them good enough, etc, etc. You can also make all of these choices yourself, you can go into the advanced mode, and then you can fine-tune really what everything will do, how much materials it will cost, what the research pre prerequisites are, the statistics of it, etc, etc, etc. Um, but generally speaking, you don't need to do that. You can just keep it on these two selectors. Then let's look at the actual pattern. Um, the first thing you probably want to do and want to look at is turn on the floor grid. So what the game does is when it gets a pattern, it turns it into a 16 by 16 square texture, um, where each of those little squares is responsible for one cell in the game. So one square floor cell, whatever. Um, so in this case, that would mean that each tile in game would be quite big, and we probably don't want this. So we probably want to copy this pattern quite a few more times. So let's do that. Let's copy it four times each, and then we actually get a little bit more of the pattern on each individual cell. That looks better. We can check the pattern tiling, but that doesn't really do anything right now. I'll show you that in the next one. Um, and then we probably want to look at the, the stuff colors that we're going to use. Um, so this is a cloth floor, which means that we can build it from wool and cloth types. And then you can see that, okay, this color gets overlaid on top of it. So if we make it on Devil's Strand, it becomes red, hyperweave, blue, etc., etc. Um, but the texture also has a color itself. This is actually white and blue. So we should probably make that a grayscale texture so we don't have the blueness in there. We can reduce the contrast a little bit. And then probably up the brightness a little bit so that the main color is still white. That means that it will take the color of whatever you're building it from. And the, um, the highlights on it, the pattern on it, is still there in a slightly more muted form. We can up that again if you want to have it a little bit more pronounced. I personally prefer it to be a little bit more muted. Okay, that is our first texture, our first floor. So let's give it a name. Um, this is a floral carpet, and we're going to call this a pretty floral pattern carpet. And that's it. That's as easy it is to make a floor. We can now um, download this mod. It will generate a nice preview for you, and 